Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to our playthrough of Extended Timeline World War II as the German Reich. So we've got a ton of money here. Let's go ahead and build another stack of mercenaries. And this is actually going to lag out our game here is because of the map has so many provinces there. So otherwise, let's go actually build some more of these training fields that we've built so many of already. You zoom down here so that the game doesn't slow down too much on us. So yeah, we've got training fields. For some reason it's not letting us click. There we go. So yeah, unfortunately, I wanted to declare war uh, on in March, but it looks like the Japanese are still at war with the Soviet Union there. And that's kind of gonna mess up our efforts, at least, I mean, it's good for us because it's going to reduce down their, you know, they're wasting some of their manpower on somebody else other than us. But I think that it's not all that good. I mean, it's going to take away from provinces that we could possibly siege. And I think that the Italians and the Japanese are actually losing this war, so the Soviets could have a boost or something going into this war. Do have some rebel issues. We did take Iceland in the previous episode, so we do have some rebel factions. Still have the Slovenians. We've had a lot of issues with them, surprisingly. Only one that's really caused this much issue. Oh yes, and our Fuhrer died. We now have Fuhrer Wilhelm Frederick Angerman, and if you remember, this is the second Angerman that we've had. We had Maximilian Angerman previously. We increase our speed here. So yeah, I was hoping to declare war on the Soviets right here. Looks like they're getting the advantage. See, that truce just ended. But see, we've got the Chinese are moving through Ukraine. They're heading towards Italy, so... This kind of puts a thorn in the side of me declaring this war right now. Proved all the way with China. I'd like to pull China off this whole war. Um, or being allied with the Soviets, but I don't think I can do that. Maybe I'll try to send them a gift or something like that before we declare war and see if that has any effect. So let me pull some of these guys off of the front once again, because they were taking attrition. Actually, let's not even worry about that. We're so high in uh, manpower that even with the attrition, we'll probably be fine. We could probably use to recruit some new leaders, though. There we go, another two-star. Improved with Turkey. Anybody else to improve with? We did it with Egypt. We did it with Iran, or doing that with Iran right now. Iraq, possibly Saudi Arabia, even though they're a pretty minor faction as it or a minor country as it is. I yeah, do not like this. Yeah, look at this. I mean, if I declare war now, we're going to be having inviting a bunch of Soviet troops into our land to declare that or to, you know, do this. We'll at least be able to split them off otherwise. I do think we'll have an easier time once we do war with them, though, than we did time before. I think our army is a whole lot better. I might go ahead and get some more um, policies. Poor vintage. I hope I never drank any. <laughs> lost, some, lost some of that prestige there. Got an agent from Manchuko. So yeah, the starting to siege down. These guys should just surrender already. Look at these crazy Soviets um, crossing our border. Not sure why they're even able to do this. Let's see, improve relations with Egypt. Okay, how are our vassals these days? The Ostland wants its independence, or not independence, it wants to be a march, so it's not too happy with us. Could actually probably improve with Spain. 
they don't much like us. Aggressive expansion is minus 116, yeah. I would say so. They had a coalition against us at one point in time, but that wasn't going to go anywhere, because how are they going to... How is Spain, that's not even full Spain, going to do much against the Germans here? This is pretty crazy, the amount of Chinese... It's all the way up to 55. Please end to that war. A little bit of a min power. Rebel factions. Our Slo uh, Slovenian guys are gone. Let's actually go ahead and boost our stability. We were knocked down to two there when our the fewer died. Wouldn't be surprised if we remember in the AI only series, whenever the Germans went into Italy, a bunch of uh, rebels, partisans rose up. So, crazy. Let's keep it on four, though. Completely thwarting our, our efforts, though, on what we wanted to do here. Suppose we can move these guys to the front, at least. As the... at least I didn't crash there. Well, this is certainly putting us back almost an episode. Hopefully I'll declare war in this one still. As long as this one ends, but I can imagine that the Soviets are going to get quite a bit here. I don't know what's going to happen exactly. They're going to take a lot over in Japan. Maybe they're going to have the Italians release some countries or something. I mean, maybe they could have... It'd be crazy. I mean, the French have had it, but releasing, you know, I don't know, Sicily or something like that, they could ask them to do that. After all, we did it to the Soviets. This is totally an AI-only episode. We've got Manchuko peasants rising up. And of course we've got some ideas to invest in, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, improved with Iran. Things are running really poorly as well. Uh, we've got Turkey trying to do study tech as well. Since we can go back to improving with Brazil. I think we're actually at our max for diplomatic relations. Last I checked, no, we did have 11 of 12. Yeah, because we do have an alliance with the Brazilians there. So, okay, Frankie, yeah, let's go ahead, actually, since we have that space... Okay, the war just ended, so once these guys get back to their own land, we are maxed out on manpower, at least. Actually, we're not quite. Just curious if there's any missions we could take, either. No, nothing interesting. Got the US, oh no, that's Liberia. Yeah, Yugoslavia is a big fan of ours. Get some free diplomats. Let's check out Afghanistan again. I think we did that. Come on, Soviet troops, get out of our lands. One by one. What is their manpower at this point? Soviets, Chinese. Yeah, they're both very low on manpower. They have large army, though. Okay, now we are up to max. It's like the first time we've been maxed. People don't want to be conscripted. We'll lose the stability on that one. I don't want to mess with our manpower. For a while we were getting a bunch of events that were increasing all of that kind of stuff, and then now we're kind of out of it. Let's 
move these guys up here as well. I won't. Oh, okay. That's not even. Uh, those aren't guys. Those are. <laughs> those are ships. See, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start this war off. So. Nobody's going to help us. The Chinese are going to help the Soviets. Let's let me do what I said I was going to do and try to pay off the the uh, Chinese to see if that somehow helps them out. What was their actual relation with us before that? Let's put it up to yes. I guess in this extended timeline, it takes a little a little bit of cash to get improved relations. So never mind. Let's go ahead, declare this war. Imperialism CB. Okay. Move into Kursk, Smolensk. We're right there on Moscow, actually. I did not realize how close we were. Oh, we've got the Chinese right here as well, so... Moving in to here... Okay. We've got the uh, Spanish and Catalonia. That's actually a place we could improve relations with, with Catalonia. We once had a good relationship with you. No longer. I don't even know. Yeah, where the uh, Navarra is on this map over here. Ah, we can probably not go maximum speed anymore. Okay, we're already winning sieges. Switching. Let's have these guys go down to the Caucasus. Do have a uh, Soviet Navy there. They're not going to go anywhere with our blockading fleet here. I cannot move them. Should have had somebody take this little Chinese army out. Uh, somebody should. Let me make sure that these guys, our vassals, are being aggressive. Everyone is. Okay, we won that. Let me go ahead, send these guys over here. There we go, let me get in here. Ukraine's gonna lose that, or possibly lose that one, but we are going to win it. And actually, before we do that, now oh, we can't because we're moving. I should have put a, uh, put a guy on that one, an admiral, but we won anyway. So that works. Moving on to Moscow. Riazan. It's a roundabout way to go to Riazan, but okay, I think that's what we've got to do. Actually, I bet once we wait for Kursk, we'll be okay. Oh, these guys go up to Novgorod. Let me check what, what is their... Okay. They do have a little bit of war exhaustion already because of their previous war, most likely. Gotta watch out for a large stack over here, though. Siege of Kursk was one. Moving on. I think we can have these guys head... Ah, actually, so these guys go to Riazan, these guys go to Moscow. Have these guys try to take these that stack out. And yeah, we do have a free diplomat over here, but not going to worry too much about that. 
Okay, there it goes down another fort. So far, so good. Couple forts there. Be very important to capture Moscow here. Oh, okay, I thought we took out this stack right here. They must have hit on us. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll take this one out and then we'll go back and get that one. Got four... What was that? Ah, okay. That was... I thought there was a bigger battle than that going on. Here we go, we got a decent one. Okay, we're getting some Dacian help. Why don't you guys go back and take out this Chinese stack, or is that... Yeah, that is Chinese. I really hate looking at the fort view, but it's so useful, I have to. Guess we cannot move until... Okay, land blocked by... Hostile fort. Let's have this one. Yeah, Ukraine's all the way over there. They're gonna need some help. There's a basically 120k units there ready to go after them. Are we not fighting the Chinese? What's the deal here? I guess maybe they're stuck or something because they were exiled maybe when the battle started maybe when the war started i'm not sure what's going on there george wilhelm becker has died so we will we've got a ton of military power we will go ahead and get another leader george keller this time who i don't think is very good oh he's okay i thought it was worse than he was Okay, we won Riazan. Things are going well so far. Everybody's pretty happy. Ukraine's got a little bit of war exhaustion. Sieging out. Not forgetting about anybody. Maybe this one that's... Who knows what he's doing. Up to December of 1995. Anybody else we could improve relations with? Let me just check over here in... Okay, so this war is still going on. I think these uh, Italians uh, broke off that war. That's what, that's what happened there. Let's improve with... Thailand. Nepal. How about Nepal? Not sure why, but uh, we've got to improve with Nepal. Okay. Alright, well this one somehow is still going on. I'm surprised by that, but we should be able to be a tide turner here. Yeah, we just... destroyed a lot of Russians there. A lot of Soviets. Okay. Maybe go there? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if it was going to let us. And what about you guys? Yeah, we're going to be moving pretty far here. I'm surprised we're still sieging down here, though. It's not even... hasn't even got very far. What? What is our army? Okay. Pretty heavy fort there. <laughs> like I was uh, pursuing there. Up to 10% war score. Still pretty happy with the uh, war enthusiasm. I thought it would be maybe moving to a medium at some point here shortly. Got a lot in the Caucasus to still siege down. Okay. Oh, thought for a moment we actually had a worrying battle there, but it looks like Norden plus... 
Yeah, some of, we've got some troops there. Should be completely fine. Yeah. I'm destroying, destroying these guys. I'm actually going to take another army down to smaller army, down to the Caucasus, down to Baku. And this one, I see there's probably a Soviet engagement coming up here. We'll have them help out. But yeah, it does look like we're out of time for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Finally, we're able to declare war on the Soviet Union about halfway through. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.